Okay, so I broke down and I bought us a dog stroller. So I never thought I would own one, but it's coming down to more or less um, safety for these guys when we are out in public and I want to take more than one dog. Ever since Bella got chased by that other dog at school, it really got me thinking, what if this happened when we were out at the park or the farmer's market and I had two dogs with me and we're away from the car and we don't have a crate with us, how would I protect both of them if I couldn't pick them up fast enough? So I am really thinking the stroller is going to help us out big time with that and because Bella is still a little unconfident around other dogs, I think she'll feel a little more secure in this, a little more secure and confident and they can always walk a little bit if they need to. So I bought them the Titan HD. It is one of the largest dog strollers by Pet Rover. It can hold up to 100 pounds. And it also has four little um, like leashes on the inside. So if they all have harnesses on, I can attach them each to a leash so they don't jump out. Although I don't expect any problems from them anyways. So let's get this open and then we'll look at all of the other cool features. Okay, so first you're going to want to make sure that your folding lock is out of that. So if it came like this, it's going to prevent the stroller from unlocking. So just disengage the folding lock. And now we should have a little more range of motion here. Okay, so once you unfold this, you're going to hear it click into place and then that's when you know that it is sturdy and it's ready. And the next step is to put the cup holder on, which is going to go on right there. Next up, the wheels. Okay, so this bar is for the rear wheels, so they're going to attach to each side like so. All right, so that's how it's looking and this little silver piece is gonna stick through there. So that's how you know you put this in far enough. And apparently the wheels just kind of click into place. All right, so the canopy is just gonna slide in on each side.
Can you go up that ramp? Can you go in this? <laughs> you didn't even need a treat. It's just too much. Can you come in here? Come on. We might have to practice this with nobody else around, right? Are you nervous to try in front of Bella? Come on. Bella, do you love this? made herself at home okay so let's go through the assembly real quick so the the rear tires needed that long bar and then the two front tires just pop in on the front and then I noticed when I was putting the canopy on um, they want you to to um, secure it a little bit more but I don't think mine has that option I don't see anything like that so I skipped it the canopy feels pretty secure. Oh yeah, it says insert front portion of basket. Everything was already there. So was the lower basket. Everything was already came pre-assembled, except for the uh, tires. Go ahead, Lil, you can go in there. You can do it. Oh, she's chickening out. Okay, so the ramp is pretty cool. It actually has two little hooks, so they will hook onto this lower bar right here, and that will help secure the ramp a little bit more. Now, for my dogs, because they're so little, I'm just going to leave this open when I want them to go in and out using the ramp, because um, it works for them, but I've seen on YouTube videos that they'll actually, for big dogs, they bring this down. So at first I kept hitting these buttons and I'm like, why is this not going? Well, because it's locked in here and also on the other side. So you gotta make sure you unlock this first. So you just have to lift up on this a little bit as you're unlocking it. And then it's going to fold down. And obviously I didn't push it down all the way because Princess here is very comfortable right where she is. Now back to the ramp. This is one complaint I have seen online and it is getting the ramp to fit back in that slot. A lot of people have said that it's been a little bit challenging just having the dog's weight pushing down on, on everything and then also trying to insert the ramp. I haven't messed around with that too much yet, so we'll have to see. All right, let's check out the canopy. It's pretty awesome. So of course, as you probably know, you've probably already been looking at the stroller. It does fully enclose. There's a little sunroof right here. And then you can also peek on your dogs as you're walking. Velcro helps keep that closed. And then you can always keep any of this up if you'd like to. Here is a little pouch that I did not realize was there, so that's nice. We can put your treats in there, Lil. And you can keep the canopy secure by clipping everything together. The handlebar does shift it can go I have it at the max height right now it can go lower and you have to push down on each button at the same time and then just push it down and it'll go
All right, so just a little bit, I walked in the grass. It seems to roll really nice. Um, overall, I think the stroller is pretty freaking awesome. Um, it will easily fit my three chihuahuas. We also have a puppy coming on the way, so I think I wouldn't do any more than four small dogs at once. And honestly, like, I know that they promote this for like big dogs, but like our first dog was a German Shepherd. I can't imagine him sitting in this. Like, I feel like he would be really cramped. So, uh, I don't know about for the big dogs. I think like um, a mini Australian Shepherd, they would fit really nice in there. Any other like medium sized dog, but I feel like for the larger dogs, like uh, I think this is pushing it, honestly. Okay, I am itching to take them on a little walk. Of course, it's evening, so we gotta go quick. Um, but real quick, because this company, this is Pet Rover, and they've had like really good feedback, and they've also had bad feedback, especially concerning um, customer service. So just a quick story. I ordered um, my stroller on uh, Tuesday, like two weeks ago, and I waited like three days to get um, a shipment email and nothing was happening. So um, I did get order confirmation right away, but I wasn't getting anything about being shipped. And I was like, when is this gonna ship? Because I was so excited. So um, I reached out to customer service. They got back to me within the same day. They were super nice. I originally ordered the taupe color of this stroller and they had told me it was out of stock. I could wait two weeks and they would have more in stock or I could choose the black, the camel, or the blue and they would ship it out ASAP. So I wrote them back that same day. I said, that's fine, black will work for us as well. And they got back to me right away thanking me and they switched my order over to black. And that was on a Friday and I don't think they ship on the weekend. So Monday morning, I did receive a shipping confirmation and it's coming from California and we are in Indiana. So it took from Monday to Friday to get it. But that's just my little spiel with me dealing with their customer service. They were really great and super friendly and very prompt. And Bella is loving this. Do you wanna take a nap in this? My goodness, okay, let's go for a walk. Here they are, we're ready. We're ready. Okay, first let's see if we can get out through the garage in which I will have to fit through this doorway. Okay, so this thing is pretty awesome. Um, the two downfalls I would say right now is it is supposed to have four leash attachments on the inside and I cannot find them. So I didn't try very hard just yet because I wanted to get going. So maybe they're tucked away somewhere, but I didn't see them. And also I would like like this to be zippered because right now there's no way I can throw them treats without having to go like underneath or leave the canopy open but for training purposes and because as you guys know if you've been following um, my channel for a little bit i'm working on them behaving well together as a group individually they do good but together they will start to bark at people and other dogs so i would like to leave the canopy down for a little bit um, and have that option to throw some treats in when they're being good and catch that good behavior. Okay, we are back home and I'm gonna investigate trying to find those attachments. I've kind of been feeling around in there, but I'm not really feeling anything that would feel like an attachment that would pull through. And I also want to try to fold this 
and lastly try to fit it in my car. Okay, to fold the stroller, you have to bring the handlebar all the way down and then there is, you know what, I need better light. Okay, so you bring the handlebars all the way down. So this is the trigger and you're gonna pull that down. It's, it's already down for me. And when it gets loose, it kind of makes like a springy noise. Let's see, I don't remember if this was all the way down. Yeah, it's already down. Okay, so with the handlebar down and both triggers down, now we should be able to push down on the handlebar and it's gonna start to fold. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna need to work on folding it down. Not sure if it goes any more than that. So here we are. This was my other concern was how well is it going to fit inside my car? My car is a little smaller than most and I actually folded the back seats up to make more room, but I'm afraid that that is just gonna take up like all of the room and I won't have room for dogs. I did measure it though. I know that the length of it will fit back here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here it is. So it just barely fits and I have like a little bit of room for like two dogs over here. I'm gonna turn it the other way. All right, I got the flashlight on. So here it is on its side which is a little bit better. There's definitely more room. I would just need to really make sure this is secured so it doesn't fall. I have one more thing I want to try and it will involve putting my seats back up, which is gonna be kind of a pain in the butt, but I have an idea, so stay tuned. Okay, here's our other option. So I have one seat folded down and one seat is still up like so. So I can fit their um, car seat right here like it normally is. Can you model this for us, Belle? <laughs> so their car seat fits nice and snug and the stroller isn't really gonna go anywhere because it's wedged in there pretty good between this seat and then just the wall of the car. My goodness, what are you doing, Bella? You are crazy. She loves this thing. She loves it. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'm thinking it's gonna be a quite a long one. So when I go to edit it, um, overall, I think the stroller is really great quality. Of course, it's not perfect. I think there's some things that they could perfect with it like four leash attachments for sure if that's what you're advertising um the folding of it folding it down was kind of awkward i gotta work on that maybe i'm not doing it totally right um what else oh and like a zipper on top of the canopy for like easy access for the dogs that would be really 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 good um as far as size goes like i said i purchased one of the largest strollers you can possibly get um, so of course I'm gonna struggle a little bit because it's a big stroller and my car is a little bit smaller than most So if you have like an SUV You're golden. It's probably gonna fit really really good in there So we are gonna use this stroller in a lot of our training now and um, I'll probably have an update video for you guys in a couple days or maybe a week in case I do find out some things like how to fold it better or if I do find those leash attachments for sure so if you're still interested in this stroller, I will have an update video coming soon. Otherwise, that is the end of this video and Gracie is the only one still with me. I think the others are tired. They're ready to go inside and go to bed. Hey, I'm ending the video, okay? Do you guys wanna say bye? Goodbye, we'll see you in the next video.